Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Fields McCormick and welcome back to Madden Mobile. Now in today's video, as you can see on your screen, we will be addressing something very exciting that just dropped in Madden Mobile. Road to the Playoffs, one of the most fun uh, things that we had in the early days of Madden, has finally returned to Madden Mobile. And along with that, of course, is the almighty Peyton Manning himself. So view details. And let's take a look at exactly what you need to do to claim Peyton Manning and all of the other Road to the Playoffs Masters. Alright, so if you click on Purchase, just as an example to show you what it is, the Road to the Playoffs Field Pass gives you 3,450 Madden cash, gives you 10,000 points, and it unlocks the AFC and NFC Masters series both of which, once completed, you can earn a 91 overall player, and we'll be going over who those are in a second. So for each stage of each of these, you have the chance to earn an 80 overall player from each level, and then at the end of the whole thing, you can get the 91 overall player. So you get two 91 overall players from this, which is really nice. Uh, we have the $2 pack there, we have the Boom or Bust packs, and we have the RTTP Road to the Playoffs pack. Now if you look at these, these contain 177 or higher player, 472 or higher players, and then 267 or higher just general players. The other ones are guaranteed Road to the Playoffs players, which you can use in sets. Now let's go back for a second. And you have all of the rewards here, so we're going to go over those real quick. 50 points gives you a 72 or higher player. 100 points gives you a 1,000 uh, training points right there. 250 points gives you uh, 500 front office points. 500 points will give you an all pro pack. 1,000 total points give you 20,000 coins and a RTTP nameplate. You get a boom or bust pack when you reach 2,500. 5,000 gives you 1,000 captain points. You get 1,000 um, front office points when you hit 7,500, along with a level two RTTP mastery. 10,000 points will give you a Madden pack. 50,000, or excuse me, 12 and a half thousand points will give you 50,000 coins and special jerseys. 15,000 points gives you a road to the playoffs pack. 17 and a half thousand points gives you 2,000 coaches whistles. 20,000 points gives you an additional 2,500 uh, front office points, as well as a level 3 for the mastery. 22,500 will give you an all Madden pack. 25,000 rewards you 1,000 diamonds, along with an RTTP Plus pack. 30,000 gives you a Road to the Playoffs Ultra pack. 35,000 gives you 1,000 stamina. 40,000 will award you 5,000 plus a uh, tier 4 mastery badge. 45,000 will award you a flashbacks elite pack. And then 50,000 will give you Peyton Manning himself. 50 power guaranteed, 94 overall verticals player because he is in the diamond uh, shape that rhombus. I'm assuming he's evolvable. Let's see. Okay, here are his stats. He's a field general quarterback with 63 speed, 61 agility, 66 acceleration. So yeah, we weren't expecting very high speed. Peyton Manning was not a fast quarterback. He was not a scrambler. He was hardcore passing oriented. But here's the good stats. Whoops, there we go. Flip him over. 95 awareness. That's insane. That uh, may be the highest awareness in the game as far as I know. Uh, 90 throw power, 94 throw accuracy short, 94 throw accuracy medium, 91 throw accuracy deep, and then 79 TOR. So those are really good throw stats. All of his throwing stats are in the 90s. Uh, throw on the run is 79. Once again, he's not really a scrambling quarterback, so that's not his thing. This is a quarterback that'll be great if you have a good O-line that can give him time in the pocket. Peyton, holds an impress, or, uh, Peyton Manning holds an impressive record of 539 touchdown passes and his third in career passing yards with 71,940. He's not auctionable. Um, that may unlock later. We don't know for sure. I don't think it will, but we'll have to see. 
So here's how you can earn the points to get there. Every time you claim the Madden bonus pack, you get 10 points. Every time you complete a daily goal, you gain 25. Every time you play a league versus league drive, you can gain up to 50, depending on how well you do. Um, you can get 50 or more from the Road to the Playoffs grab bag set, and we'll take a look at that in a second. You can get 250 or more from completing Road to the Playoffs achievements, and we'll take a look at those in a second as well. 250 plus for Program Master Badges, 1,000 for Road to the Playoffs Division Sets, and 5,000 for completing all Division Sets. Let's look at the achievements first. Claim the complete 5 daily goals 15 times will give you 250. You can get another 250 for using 10,000 stamina. As you can see, I'm already 50 into it. Use 10,000 front office points for 250. I've been saving front office points for this exact thing. So we're probably going to improve our overall stamina. Uh, 250 bonus, bonus points, excuse me, for scoring 250 points in league drives. 250 road to playoffs points for scoring 250 points in arena drives. 250 points for scoring 10,000 points with a smash mouth captain. 250 with a vertical captain, 250 with spread, and then 250 with a West Coast captain. 500 for obtaining two mastery badges. Uh, 1,000 for obtaining four. 2,000 for obtaining six mastery badges. 3,000 for obtaining eight mastery badges. 4,000 for obtaining 12. And then 5,000 for obtaining 16 Road to the Playoffs mastery badges. Now let's take a look first at the players to see what exactly all we have. We have a lot of players in this promo. Let's get them to load up. Yeah, we have quite a few, quite a few. So we're gonna just read through them. We're not gonna go through the stats of every single one because that would take way too long. But first off, of course, is Peyton Manning, 94 overall quarterback. The first and only 94 in the game. Next up is 91 middle linebacker Jalen Smith. Then we have 91 offensive guard Quentin Nelson, which is one of the players I plan to go for. Then we have Jimmy Graham, DeForest Buckner, Anthony Barr, Michael Dixon, the first uh, diamond punter, I believe, actually. So that's an interesting choice there. 91 defensive end Emmanuel Ogba. 91 center, I believe he's on the Patriots. Yes, yeah, that's a Patriots player. Ted Karras, then we have Teddy Bridgewater, Jordan Pointer, Marcus Peters, 91 corner, and then Kenny Stills. Those are all of the 91 overall diamond players that you can work to complete. And you have all of these elite players, tons of elite players, and then a handful of golds as well that go into this. All right, so let's go back, go to sets. Road to the playoffs and see what the sets are. So, first off, probably one of the most exciting ones actually is this 91 overall Road to the Playoffs player select. You can complete this only one time, and um, in order to complete this, you have to exchange eight 86 overall uh, Road to the Playoffs players. It's one of those elites that we skip past. Um, it's also a prerequisite to this to get 5,000 yards with a Road to the Playoffs player on your lineup. So we may throw in a corner or something and go with that. Uh, we do have a way to get a 77 or higher. You throw in 7, 72 plus to get a 77 plus. To get an elite player, throw in 7, 77 or higher players. And then of course we have the grab bag, which for those of you that did this in the earlier part of the Ray Lewis event, you saw just how good this actually is. Uh, you get 572 overall players and 277 overall players, and you can exchange it for three random rewards. 500 to 5,000 training points, 1,000 to 2,500 front office points, 2,500 to 50,000 coins, 50 to 1,000 gems, and 50 to 1,000 road to the playoffs points. Now, I believe it is guaranteed a minimum of 50 out of this. And if that's the case, then I would just keep doing this. See, we have a 76 Steven uh, Nelson that we pulled out of an event a second ago. We're going to go ahead and throw him in there. And then you have these right here. Um, to, let's look at that one in a second. So for 1,000, you throw these four players in. For 1,000, for the AFC North, you throw these four in. And actually, 
you know what? Let's see, he's back over here. Let's pull him out of here. And here's what I recommend doing. Put the players in these first, and then any duplicates you have, throw into the grab bag. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice cracked there a little. AFC South requires these four for 1,000. Come over here to the AFC West requires those four for 1,000. Uh, the NFC East requires these four players for 1,000. Then the NFC North requires these four for 1,000. Let's see, scroll on through. NFC South requires these four players for 1,000 points. And finally, the NFC West requires these four players for 1,000 points. So they all require two golds and two elites. And once you get all that, that'll be 8,000. That's nearly a tenth of the way to getting Manning. And if you come over here to the Road to the Collection, the Road to the Collection Mastery, scroll through. If you get all of these, you will earn an additional 5,000 um, Road to the Playoffs points, which is 13,000. That's a quarter of the way right there to getting Peyton Manning by just completing these sets. So what I recommend doing is do the live events. Oh, and those also give you Legends badges too, which is a great way to grind towards some uh, Legends players if you need to add some to your collection. Like I wanted to add Antonio Cromartie and I just unlocked him. These badges can go towards those kind of sets. So, what I recommend, what I think is the easiest way to get Peyton Manning, complete all of these sets. Uh, they're probably gonna cost you a pretty good bit to do if you're not able to pull the players on your own. Um, I'm assuming probably be 100 to 150,000 for each of the elites and then 20 to 30,000 for each gold. So you're probably looking at 200 to 300,000 for each section, at least to start. Now those prices are obviously gonna go down as the promo goes on, but that's pretty much what you're looking at, I would assume. So overall, that'd be like 1.6 mil if you had to buy them all outright, which you don't. Um, and then any additional players you have, throw, go over here and throw them into the grab bag. This guarantees at least 50 points, up to 1,000. You could do this in theory, you do it 50 times and you're done. It's possible. So let's go back. We're gonna go back again, go over to the map. Let's take a look. So I've already done this, so I can't show you gameplay right now because I did it as soon as it came out. But you make a comeback in the fourth quarter against a playoffs team. And this gives you a 72 or higher road to the playoffs player. I pulled 76 Steven Nelson, and you saw him get thrown in with um, whichever division he was with, whichever division the Steelers are in. I can't think which one that is offhand. But that's how that works. You could do this seven times and complete the um, complete the grab bag set, pull a thousand, do that a whole bunch of times, and you're good. Uh, let's go back to the store. I do not plan to get the um, field pass because, as you guys know, I am completely. Um, no money spent. That's one of the big things about my channels. I don't put any money into this. So I don't think I'm going to do that. It's kind of tempting, I won't lie, but $30 is a lot, especially when this is definitely doable without paying a dime. I completed uh, Ray Lewis about a week and a half early without paying any money, so I'm pretty certain that I can do the same for Peyton Manning. Now since I am a Denver Broncos fan and they are in the AFC, we're gonna drop 4,000 right here. Yes, and we're gonna unlock the AFC. Now we're gonna go back over to Solo, Master Series. There it is, Road to the Playoffs. Gives you a 91 overall. There are only three stages to this. And we will be doing those. So that'll reward stamina, that rewards training points. We will do these in a separate video because this one's already at about 15 minutes and I don't want to make it too terribly long. But yeah, that will do it for this video. Um, of course, we can't look at stage two and stage three yet, but this is very exciting. I plan to get, if we go back over, uh, view details, let's go back to players. And the AFC Gauntlet is unlocked. You saw that down there. 
Now out of these diamond players, you can get 191 overall for completing the AFC, 191 overall for completing the NFC. Now I don't expect these to be a lock where you can only get one FC player, one NFC player, but that is possible. What I would like, ideally, based on what my team needs, and these may not be the best for videos, but they're going to help me the most. So on the um, offense, Ogard is my weakest position. I have an 84 right there. 84 Marshall Yonda from the Master Series. He's doing pretty good, but he's my lowest offensive card. So I'll probably put Quentin Nelson in his place. He's also a smash mouth, which goes with my scheme. If we look at Quentin Nelson. He has, yeah, really good. Um, you can see there, 86 run block, 90 pass block, 91 impact block. So he's got really good, um, really good blocking stats. And then on the defense, corners, as you guys know, are the biggest thing I'm having trouble with. So 91, Marcus Peters, if I'm able to, I will add to the team. What's his speed? Wow, he's got 88 speed. My voice cracked again, I'm sorry. He's got 88 speed, which is really good. That's the same speed as Julio Jones' uh, most feared cards. 93 zone is really high, too. 92 acceleration, a bunch of other really good stats. So I'll be adding one offensive and one defensive player to the team if it allows us to do that, which I believe it will. I don't think these guys are even in the same leagues. Or, well, they're in the same league, per se, but I don't think they're in, like, the same division and stuff. I'm not entirely sure, though. But if I can pick any two of these players, number one will be 91 overall Ogard Quentin Nelson, and number two will be 91 cornerback uh, Marcus Peters, because I need help in my secondary, and I need help in my offensive guard position. These two are perfect for that. So that'll be my uh, top two. I won't really have gameplay with those guys because they're not really positions that you can play as, unfortunately. But when I do get Peyton Manning, rest assured that he will most certainly have gameplay on the channel. And it doesn't say anything about him being evolvable, but considering that he has the same uh, rhombus around his number as all of the other evolvable cards. I'm assuming he will be evolved at a later date. Um, so yeah, Jimmy Graham would be a fun one, but I have 90 overall Jake Butt, so 90 to 91 is not a whole lot. Um, 91 Kenny Stills would be nice, but I don't really need a wide receiver, so he's probably not going to be uh, one of the options I go with. More than likely, it'll be 91 overall offensive guard Quentin Nelson and 91 overall cornerback Marcus Peters. Those two would be the biggest impacts on my team, and they would um, fill in some gaps that my team has. After that, I've pretty much got a really nice team set up, and uh, we'll just keep going from there. But yeah, I think that's going to go ahead and wrap this video up. There will be a, another video coming soon where I complete the AFC Master Series, and then once we get enough diamonds, complete the NFC Master Series. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to go ahead and end it for this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, please give it a thumbs up down below to let me know. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy um, the content, you enjoy these updates, please subscribe down below. We're at 642 subscribers and gaining more and more and more every single day. We are projected to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of March 2020, which as crazy as it sounds, is only about four-ish months away. Four or five months away. So thank you all so much for all of the amazing support you've been giving the channel. I love getting to talk with all of you guys down in the comments. I love getting to dig into these games, take a look at the stats, and see just how good these players really are. And I can assure you, Peyton Manning will be the best quarterback in the game for quite a while. We may see um, some out-of-position quarterbacks. Uh, maybe another Odell will come out for ultimate freeze. But I don't see anyone taking over Peyton Manning until, at the very least, ultimate freeze. And if Manning is an evolvable card, then when ultimate freeze drops those 95s and 96s, we can evolve him on up a little bit more and go from there. And uh, it may not be too long before we start seeing cards evolve on into... 95, 96, 100, that's coming before too long. And I'm really excited about that. That'll be a ton of fun to happen. Um, 
so real quick before we end this let's see how long we have okay yeah we got 21 minutes i'm not going to keep you guys that long that'd be ridiculous but yeah uh if you enjoyed it like i said please give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you're new before we leave uh the discord has been going incredibly well recently we have had probably about 20 ish people jump in in the last few days and it's a ton of fun. We're having a lot of great conversations in there. So if you want to join the locker room and join the conversation outside of the channel with me and some of my admins and some really great people, um, and there'll be an, an admin announcement coming soon. Don't worry about that. I haven't been quite able to get around to that just yet, but I will start assigning admins to some of the original players that um, kind of helped me found it for lack of better words. So yeah, if you want to join the locker room, join the Discord and talk to me and all of my awesome friends that are in there, there will be a link down in the comments. I'll have it pinned so it's the very first comment you see. But yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I look forward to getting Peyton Manning. I look forward to seeing you guys throw with the sheriff himself. And as always, I will see you in the next Madden Mobile video.